What's up, everybody? It's your boy Chip back at you from RVA Vapes, and today we're talking about the man chip from our friends at Joy Tech. Today we've got the Ego AIO Mansion from our friends at Joy Tech. And this is their new take on the AIO. So, open this bad boy up, and the first thing you'll notice right off the bat is it has a completely different looking style to it, which is kind of cool. Then, with the rest of the goodies, you've got obviously your coil that I stole out of there. And it's the same uh, BF AIO coils. You got your charge cable, your warranty cards, and then they gave you some extra plugs for your chimney and for the actual tank itself. So that's kind of a cool touch. So here it is. It's not a whole lot to it. You've got your on off switch here. You can see your little light inside the tank there. One, two, three, four, five. Turns it off and back on again. Now, you've got this dust cover, which is a cool addition or uh, feature to it, but it's kind of loose, so I imagine if you were running around with this in your pocket, that would come off fairly easily, but at least they're thinking about it. Um, and then this just comes off with the O-ring gasket there fairly easily. Now, you can see it's kind of similar to the Nexus where they put your little tooth right there, so you can grab onto that coil. And it also has the same adjustable airflow like the Nexus had. This is a lot bigger though, so it should give you better vapor production. Um, there's your little fill port right there, so you can fill up the juice. So, you take your coil, and here's your chimney, and you just screw it together, just like you would for the AIO or the Nexus. And then you're going to drop that right down in there. And it's kind of hard to get your fingers down in there, so that's why they gave you the little tooth right here. You just line that up like so, and spin it on down until you stop feeling it move. Like that. And then you could just barely get your fingers in there to adjust that airflow, like that. See? And of course, your micro USB charging port is on the opposite side of the on off switch. I like that they left the tank see-through. See, you can see all the way through to the coil there, so that's a nice touch. And that, boys and girls, is a quick look at your Ego AIO Mansion. So, now that we've got a good up close look at it, we're going to pull back have a vape on it and talk about this little guy right here so first things first let's go over the parameters here so you've got 103 millimeters tip to tail you've got 33 millimeters wide down here and then it's 17 and a half millimeters thick so fairly small little guy um, it runs the 0.6 coil like we said earlier and it's got some interesting styling to it um, you can see a micro USB port there now this doubles as a fire button, but it's kind of small, so I would call this pretty much just the auto draw. And the battery capacity is 1300 milliamp hours, I believe. And it's got a two mil tank built into it. And it runs the 0.6 um, BF stainless steel 316 coil, which is the same coil that we were using in the AIO. Now, this guy is offered in a few different color options, so we're going to throw all five of those up right now. Now, let's break this guy down a little bit and talk about it. Um, first of all, compared to the uh, Exceed NC, you can see it's substantially shorter. A um, little bit skinnier and obviously not quite as thick. But compared to the 
original AIOs, it's roughly the same height. It might be a smidge shorter, but it's flat instead of round, so I'd call it a push size-wise. Pretty much the same size. This guy is kind of an interesting design to me, and there's a couple of reasons for that. The first one being that um, it does have the adjustable airflow, but the coil that they chose to put in here doesn't have a ton of airflow built into it, which I think is kind of an odd choice personally. You know, the side fire button, while it's a nice idea, I don't think it's easy to index or find, so it's not going to be um, very useful in my opinion. But at least they thought of it. A lot of the pod systems or small tank systems that are out there now don't even have that option so at least they were thinking about it the tank situation itself if you look at that there it's very reminiscent to me of the uh, Nexus from Vapor SO very similar chimney style with the little tooth that you can unscrew this part here the plug looks almost exactly the same uh, but they did raise up the airflow sensor so that if you do uh, it's this guy right here a little nabby um, so if you do overfill it it shouldn't clog that or cause any issues with auto draw so a little bit better design on that um, to me this is really kind of a mouth to lung vape with the coil that they chose in there um, they sent two point sixes with it I wanted to try the point five but I haven't had the opportunity to do so yet just to see how the the difference on the output would be but all in all it's a fairly solid mouth to lung vape. You can see it produces a decent amount of vapor, but because of the way that the coil airflow is designed, um, I don't think any lung, direct lung vapors are really going to enjoy this too terribly much. It's just a weird choice of coil for me personally. Um, my guess is they did it that way so that the battery life would be maximized. That way you'd be able to get close to a full day out of this guy with 1300 milliamps which is not too bad we're gonna do a giveaway for this guy um, we've got an orange one that we're gonna be giving away and in order to win it all you gotta do is like the video subscribe to our YouTube channel and then share it in any vape related Facebook group they all have their own rules so make sure you follow your groups rules but we just wanna try to get RVA vapes reviews out there um, that way we can get a little more feedback and give the people what they want. So there's going to be an FDA fee associated with it. It's $7. So that way it's not a free tobacco product. Um, but it covers shipping on our end. So that makes it uh, fair for everybody. But uh, if you do those three things, then you will be entered to win. Now we're going to do the drawing on October 14th is your next Ask a Vapor episode and that's when we'll be doing the live drawing so make sure you tune into that. Ask a Vapor is the second Tuesday of every month and that's a good place to get any of your vape related questions answered as well as to catch up on any advocacy and stuff like that that might be going on. Final consensus on this guy is that we're going to give it one thumb up. It's a pretty solid design. It feels nice in the hand. The grips are nice, but they're vertical. I will have a little bit of a slipping issue with that. Um, the fire button being there, but not exactly the most functional. And the odd choice of coil, seeing as how they're advertising it as mouth to lung or direct lung, it's really only mouth to lung with the coils that they chose to use in this guy. We've said the cons. The pros are... It's a well-proven coil system. It's not going to run the thickest juice in the world, but if you like that mouth-to-lung vape, you're probably using thinner juice anyway. Um, it's got a nice design element going on there. I think they were designing it to look kind of like a skyscraper or something like that. So it's cool looking. It fits nicely in the hand. The coil that's in here is known for having good flavor. That's why I think they chose it. But uh, all in all, it's a solid little device. So if you're looking for a good mouth-to-lung device that's not going to break the bank and is going to be fairly discreet and easy to use, I would definitely check out the Ego AIO Mansion. That being said, we want to thank you guys for tuning in. We appreciate every single one of you. Uh, if you have devices that you want to see reviewed, please, please send us a line at rvavapes at gmail.com um, make sure you click subscribe so that you can get all updates on all our latest reviews 
and also check us out on shop.rvavapes.com and that will give you a opportunity to purchase any of the fine products that we carry last but certainly not least if you want to smoke that's your business if you don't I'll let us.